May's Humble Choice looks like it has an interesting variety of games, so let's check them out. First is Warhammer 40k Chaos Gate. It's a fast-paced, turn-based game and it appears to have great gameplay, and the graphics are pretty sweet. It has all of the mechanics that are the bread and butter of the turn-based tactical game genre. Moving places, overwatch, shielding, and special unit skills, but I just never really got into turn-based games. This game is really not for me, but for fans of turn-based games, it could make the bundle worth buying. Next is Spiritfarer. I've seen a number of people streaming this online over the last few months. You follow Stella and her dog Daffodil taking over the job of Ferryman of the River Styx, who appears to be retiring or just moving on. Bye Charon, enjoy your retirement. The game itself has you performing final tasks for a variety of spirits in order to get them onto the boat to move them to the afterlife. Great and really enjoyable. Probably my favourite game this month as I have a soft spot for platform puzzlers. Bendy and the Dark Revival is a survival horror adventure that appears to start out in a cartoon studio from the 50s. Do an old man a favour. The game's mix of puzzles and creepiness gelled really well with me at the start, so I'll be playing this some more this month. We die. <laughs> Operation Tango is the unfortunate game this month. It's multiplayer only, but there's no matchmaking lobby, so it's hard to find another person. It's all code-based, and the only point of assistance is a link to the Discord where you can find a stranger to play with. On the upside, only one player needs to have a copy, so the other player can just use the demo version. It's a great shame, as the game itself is meant to be around 5 hours per character, with one player hacking and another acting as the agent in an assisting capacity, which reminds me somewhat of the excellent Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes. Next is Windjammers 2. Apologies to the devs, but this may be one of the dullest games I've played this year. I'm not sure why somebody would want to play a game based on Frisbee Tennis, or how that interest spawned a sequel, but I guess there's an audience for this somewhere. Nah mate, can't come out before Tuesday at the earliest. Bank holiday and we got four jobs before you. Oh go blimey gap. <clears throat> Sorry, uh, Southern Roots. It's not that kind of builder simulator. This looks like the kind of busy work game I could get into. I've been known to put a lot of time into games like House Flipper and the excellently weird Power Washer simulators. So this may be for me. This game has its own more insane version of Claptrap from Borderlands for the tutorials, and it seems pretty interesting so far. I may play through the main campaign when I have time and see how I like it. It does feel a little overly complex, but they do seem to provide an auto mode for some of the tools, so that's a thoughtful addition. I'll see how I get on with it. Next is Behind the Frame, the finest scenery which seems to be a mix of scribble on screen simulator and 3D adventure mixed with some anime cutscenes. It's quite a calm, experienced game to play and the initial chapter should take less than an hour to complete in its entirety. So as such, it's a nice addition to this bundle. <laughs> Lastly, we have The Invisible Hand, which looked initially like a panic simulator, but seems to actually be an arcadey stock exchange sim. A lot to learn, but for me the game just didn't seem to be particularly fun. People into these kind of sims may feel much differently. So that's it. Unfortunately there's no giveaway this month as I didn't have any of the titles in the bundle already. Uh, that may be the first time this has happened. Let me know what you think in the comments below, if anything stands out, or if there's any games you love then feel free to tell me what exactly it is you love about them. Overall I think this month is worthwhile, because between Chaos Gate, Spiritfarer, Builder Simulator and Bendy in the Dark Revival there's probably at least one good game for everybody. As ever, stay safe and I'll see you on the next video. Go blimey,